Welcome back to another episode of Just Podding Around. I'm your host, Rhys Williams. Let's get into the All Star Weekend. Now, the All Star Weekend is this weekend coming, and as usual, there's the All Star Game, the three point contest, and the slam dunk contest, which is what I'll be focusing on in this episode. Now in the uh, this is for the All Star the actual All Star game you've got they they're refer, uh, returning to the original uh, layout for it so Eastern Conference versus Western Conference instead of picking two players to be a coach and they draft players that they want so this would be the traditional All Star game now in the East you've got Tyrese Halliburton Damian Lillard Giannis Antetokounmpo and Jason Tatum as the official starters. Now, Joel Embiid was uh, the starting centre, but he's now injured. And Trey Young has taken his spot as uh, he's been his replacement. Now, you've also got, as the reserves, you've got Jalen Brunson making his first... uh, all-Star game. Tyrese Maxey also making his All-Star debut. Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Paolo Banquero, Julius Randle and Bam Adebayo. Now Julius Randle's also been injured and Scotty Barnes is his replacement uh, making his All-Star debut. And Doc Rivers is the head coach so Doc Rivers will make his decision as to who's going to start over a starting place of Embiid. Now for the West, you got Luka Doncic, uh, Shai Gilgis Alexander, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and Nikola Jokic starting. And for the reserves, you got Devin Booker, Stephen Curry, Anthony Edwards, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Carl Anthony Towns, and Anthony Davis starting uh, as reserves. With uh, Chris Finch from the Minnesota Timberwolves as the head coach for that team. Now the game is going to be played on the eight, oh, the ninth, oh, officially it's the nineteenth of uh, December Australian time at eleven thirty a.m. or eleven yeah, eleven thirty a.m. Uh, in Adelaide, where, which is where I'm based. And it's the whole weekend is being held at the Game Bridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana, to the home of the Pacers. Um, the the charity aspect of the game is still being uh, upheld from the previous uh, All Star games, but besides that, it's back to the original format. So also taking part in the All-Star Weekend, you got Stephen Curry versus Sabrina Ionescu from the WNBA's uh, New York Liberty team in the three-point challenge. So they'll be facing off each other against each other on the 18th at late time. Uh, Steph Curry will be shooting from the NBA three-point line with NBA basketballs and Sabrina will be shooting from the WNBA line with WNBA basketballs. There is a bit of a size difference and the length difference between the two. So, yeah, they'll be doing it with what makes them comfortable. Although Sabrina did say that she was happy to use the the, the NBA line and the NBA balls because she was confident that she'd actually do pretty well with it. But, yeah, they, they just decided to give her the WNBA regulations. And for the three-point competition, you have Malik Beasley from the Bucks, Jalen Brunson from the Knicks, Tyrese Halliburton from the Pacers, Damian Lillard from the Bucks, Larry Markkinen from the Utah Jazz, Donovan Mitchell from the Cavaliers, Carl Anthony Towns from the Timberwolves, and Trey Young from the Hawks, competing in the three-point competition. Uh which is a two-round event. Uh, and for the slam dunk competition, 
we have Jalen Brown from the Celtics, Jaime Harquez Jr. from the Heat, Mac McClung from the Escuela Magic in the NBA G League. That That's the Orlando Magic's uh, G League team. And you've also got Jacob Toppin from the New York Knicks. The the slam dunk contest is also a two round event. Now for the All Star game, I the West has been pretty strong, so I, I got them winning. They've been pretty dominant in the All Star game all up. Uh, for the three point contest. Well, that's that. I reckon that would be a bit of a tough one when they're all pretty good. Um, my pick is Tyrese Halliburton winning that because he's been on a bit of a roll. He's also, in my opinion, he is currently the best point guard in the league today. Uh, he's he's been phenomenal for the Pacers since he's been traded there. Um, and for the slam dunk contest, ooh, I don't know much about Mac McClung. I, mean, I don't watch any of the G League games, so I I don't know how good he is, if he is any good. Um, Jaime Harquez has been pretty good for the Heat. I mean, he's just a rookie, but he's been really good. So, yeah, I'll go for Jaime Harquez winning this. Uh, there's also, uh, as for the the Steph versus Sabrina contest, Sabrina Ionescu is a pretty good three-point shooter, so I wouldn't be surprised if she did end up winning that little contest. I mean, Steph is starting to slip a little bit. I mean, this hasn't been his best year. I mean, he's starting to, to show his age a bit. I mean, he's 35 years old, and he is starting to slip a little bit, but he could still put up a bit of a bit of a challenge. Now, there is the celebrity game, uh, Team Shannon versus Team Stephen A. Uh, Team Shannon is Mika Parsons, Connor Daly, Quincy Isaiah, Joel Lloyd, Kai Senat, Dylan Wang, Lily Singh, Sir Walker Hayes, and Anwell AA. Stephen A has Jennifer Hudson, Meta Sanford Artest, Jack Ryan, AJ McLean, CJ Stroud, Kwame Onwuchi, Natasha Cloud, Adam Blackstone, and Jing Marco Tamberry. You get the Rising Star Challenge, which is uh, Victor Wembanyama, Brendan Miller, Jaime Harkes Jr., Jabari Smith Jr., Pran- uh, Brandon Podziemski, Carson Wallace, and Bilal uh, Kulab- Kulabali versus uh, Paolo Bencaro, Keegan Murray, Jaden Ivey, uh, Vince Williams Jr., who's a replacement for the injured. Dyson Daniels, Scoot Henderson, Keontae George, and Dalen, uh, Jalen Duran. And as well as uh, facing it off against Chet Holmgren, Derek Lively the second, uh, Jeremy Soshan, who's replacing the injured Shade and Sharp. Jalen Williams, Benedict Matherin, Jordan Hawkins, and Walker Kessler against Oz, Oz and Al Mansa, Matas Buzelis, Ron Holland, who's injured, uh, Tyler Smith, Oscar Sheboy, Emoni Bates, who's replacing Ron Holland, Mac McClung, and Alondis Williams. So it'll be a rather interesting uh, weekend. 
uh, full of the, the the All Star game is just a yeah pickup game with NBA players, so it's not gonna be overly competitive. I mean it's got to be a high scoring game. I wouldn't be surprised if it reaches 156 to 152 because that's what the whole last bunch of all-star games have been. So, yeah, not much defense, if any, is played in the all-star game. Uh, you'll see a lot of bit of comedy stuff. I mean, a couple of years ago, when... Giannis was driving to the rim and there was only Steph Curry in his way. Steph just laid on the floor and let Giannis drive to the rim and get a dunk. So you can't really expect too much. So it's just an entertainment thing, really. So but yeah, again, I've got the West winning. I'm not sure what the score will be. So yeah, that that's it for. For this episode, make sure you follow me. I've now got a, well, it's X now, but a Twitter account at JPA Podcast. Follow me on Facebook at Just Podding Around Podcast, Instagram at JPA Podcast, and follow me on YouTube at Bulldozer Five One One. You'll see as Bulldozer Williams. So if you follow me on all of those. You'll see, I'll mainly post on Facebook and you'll see updates and whatnot from for future episodes. So make sure you keep up to date with everything from there. Have a good one.